Hello, it's Emma Jo here from Lavinia Stamps and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to make this. So this is a rather delicious tag featuring playful pumpkin, fairy crook and fairy couple and a burst of stuff. So this is a magic pumpkin tag using some wonderful pumpkin stamps from Lavinia Stamps um, and they're great fun. They really remind me of a little bit of Tim Burton, but a lot of Lavinia added into it. They're just delicious. And you put them all together with your fairies and maybe even Willow the Witch. Um, but we're not doing that today. Um, <laughs> but there's so much you could do with them. Fab fun. Anyway, with the little citrus colours as well. Stop talking, Emma Jo. OK, I'll stop. Come with me and let me show you how it's done. Right, so we're creating the background now. <clears throat> so we start off with a large watercolour card tag, needle tip bottle filled with yellow dinkles with metallic bronze mica minerals and then another one with lime divine and just put a lot of yellow in the middle and some green around the edges and then using a small mop brush just mix them all in together. Try to keep most of the green to the edges and splattering in a very technical way, that yellow. Now I'm adding some more dinkles here, but it is the pine. And that again is more to the edges. Look at those colors swirling together, lovely. So using a heat tool, I'm just gonna dry that off. And that's what I'm doing. That looks like I'm mighty close, but I promise you it's just the camera angle. Now using a piece of paper towel, I'm just dabbing the excess off. And I'm grabbing some Dinkles Pink again in a needle tip bottle and dotting some at opposite corners. So top left, bottom right, and just a few little dots which I then splat with that paper towel. And so that means we just get a little bit of pink, which we're going to gradually build up. Again, you can see I'm doing the same sort of thing. These are smaller. And at the top, they're slightly bigger. Okay. Look rather dark, don't they? Until you splat them technical term that. There we go. So now we're going to do some stamping. So these are from the Spellbinding collection and this is the Fairy Crook that I've popped onto an acrylic block and I'm just stamping at an angle with the swirly end towards the centre of the tag. And now I'm inking up using again Versafine Claire Nocturne the Playful Pumpkin Stamp and stamping him so that he sits kindly on the top of that fairy crook. Rather a jaunty angle, this. Look at all that character in that face. It's lovely. OK, adding colour. Now for this, I'm going to be using the Kuritake Clean Colour Real Brush Pens in the different orange shades. Now I've got the 48 pen set. And I'm starting with the paler of the oranges. And really what I'm looking for is a base colour. And that's my yellow that's just filling in towards the centre. And blending it all together. Now I like that green splat there, so I'm not going to stress too much about that around the top. And now this is the burst of stars, again in Versafine Claire Nocturne. Stamped across in a jaunty angle at the bottom. And again, across the top of the tag. So they nicely balance each other out. And I'm using a spare bit of card just to mask off part of the fairy couple stamp because I'm going to have one half on one side and one half on the other. Now all the stamping on this has been done using Versafine Claire Nocturne ink. 
Okay, so I'm now doing the other side again, masking off half of the stamp so that we've just got a touch of fairy magic at the top. Now I'm going to do some Posca pen highlights. So my favourite, the white Posca pen. Just a few little dots. They just, they give you a lift without being too intense and in your face. I love this. Frisk masking fluid brushes. They seem to be my favourite at the moment. But I think that's more a case of um, diddy size. And all I was doing was smushing some of that Posca out of the way. Now, this is Pebeo Miction Relief. It sounds like something that you would get from a chemist, but I promise you it's not. It's a 3D glue. And it's got such a tiny little nozzle that you can apply tiny little bits where you want them. So I'm just applying those bits in the center of the stars and also around where the fairy couple were because I want these to look like bursts of magic. And they just have a slightly raised appearance. So what we do is we pop these where we want them to go just with tiny squeeze on that tube. Otherwise, you end up with an absolute splurge. So just be gentle. Get used to the texture of it and how it works before you apply it to your main piece. Then heat it up a little bit with your Ranger heat tool. But please stop as soon as you see it bubble because you've gone too, you don't want to go any further than that. OK, you can leave it to dry by itself if you've got the time. So I'm using a little bit more white Posca and applying it with a paintbrush here, just around the sockets of the eyes on the playful pumpkin. Adding some texture and bling. Well, we all like a little bit of bling, don't we? So that glue has now dried. And I'm using some Wow Fab Foils in gold to just go over the bits that have those glue, uh, the, the miction relief. <laughs> it really does sound like you've got a terrible problem, doesn't it? Uh, hello, I'd like some Pebeo miction relief, please. Oh, you poor thing. Anyway, sorry, enough of that. So you've done that and that just gives those stars that tiny bit of sparkle. Now here I'm using the Spirit Sign stamp for the Gilders Zodiac sign and I've stamped that in Versifying Claire Green Oasis and that's a full stamp at the bottom, half a stamp at the top and half a stamp about mm, just over half the way down. And again... And again, just adds that little bit of texture to the background so you're not left with a load of blank space. Loves it. Adding a subtle frame. OK, so I've got my Kuritake Clean Colour Real Brush pens and this is the darker green. And because this is a watercolour tag, I can apply a bit of the pen to the edge then, using a little bit of water on my brush, smudge it. And it's lovely. It just gives that little edge that you don't want to be too in your face. Well, I like it. <laughs> OK. You see how we're taking some of that colour into the picture. There, I've just done a little movement mark, if you like, following the line of the fairy crook and using that water again, smudging it round. And that just makes it pop a little bit more, doesn't it? It makes it come alive adding character to an already characterful stamp. Lovely. Just blot that little bit off that you don't need. Fill in any gaps and my goodness me, you have done it! 
Well done. It's always fun, isn't it? Dealing with a new character, a new stamp character that gives you a chance to take your work into a different, slightly different direction. Because you're now looking at this other world that encompasses this character and where you can put it. I, I That's what makes me, yay! It's another adventure, stamping adventure. So I hope you've enjoyed yourself. I certainly loved this. Just the colouring of the pumpkin, you know, adding the fairy couple at the top. Just lovely. It sort of kept it all sort of slightly Halloween-y, but in a thing sort of way. Love it. Love it. Anyway, enough over-the-top enthusiasm from me. <laughs> I apologise. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed making this tag with me. You can tell I probably have, um, so I shall rein it in. I hope you've enjoyed yourself. Um, if you've got any comments you'd like to make about this craft, then please feel free, pop them in a post below, and I will do my best to get back in touch with you as soon as I can. But in the meantime, happy crafting. Thank you. Bye.